have an exciting one to talk about today, Returnal, a game that I just beat a few days ago, and a game that's been on my list for a while. And it's one of the more unique and interesting mashups of ideas and concepts I've seen in a game. Uh, it's part arcade-like shooter, it's sci-fi, it's isolative, it's difficult. And Returnal takes ideas and concepts from a lot of big things in media, like the Metroid series, the Alien movies, bullet hell shooters like Ikaruga that we'll get into detail here in a bit. And it's so cool to see that they all come together so well and make this unique package of Returnal, which I don't think there's anything else out there like it. But in this review, we're gonna go over the following. We're gonna go over the graphics and sound, the gameplay and difficulty, and the story, and then finally, the verdict on this game. And we have a little extra special at the end dedication in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. To put it simply, Returnal is a gorgeous game. It's a bit on the darker side with sparks of color coming from the environment, from bullets, very neon. And when it all comes together in the middle of fights or just looking towards the landscapes and horizons, it's beautiful. Um, it's a really great looking PS5 game. I wouldn't say it's the best looking PS5 game, but overall I love the visual style and what they went with. And the visuals are complemented beautifully by the sound design in this game. All of it is amazing in my opinion, from the sound of your guns, the enemies, the atmospheric noises that will be happening, the music that plays while you're in the middle of fights. It all works so well. And the music in Returnal is quite interesting. I would say it's kind of experimental synth wavy it could be dreadful but you know when you're in the middle of a fight and you get the track going it's just perfect the visuals the sound and really all the production values in this game are really really well thought out so returnal has some really really high production values and very unique visual and sound design to it i, I love all of it how it comes together as a package but really the main and most amazing part of returnal is the gameplay so let's talk about that Okay, so we got to just start out by saying that the gameplay in Returnal is wild. The amount of projectiles that will be coming your way, your item management, your reload management, it is just insane how many things you will be doing and seeing at once, and it is a blast. You know, you'll hear people say, oh, the flow state, when you're in a certain flow state. In this game, you will get to a flow state when you get it down, and it just feels perfect. The gameplay in this game is brutal, it is incredibly difficult, but it's intentional with that. And what I mean by that is that the game is designed around that. There will be times in this game where you're like, this is impossible. And what I recommend for people, because in this game, really, it's Groundhog Day. So what I mean by that is you're going to be starting over a lot. When you die, you go back to the very beginning. Now. That doesn't mean you're always doing the same thing every time. It means the environment's changing, that you've progressed in specific ways. You do lose some items and weapons and all that, but you are making progress. By losing, you are making progress. And so with that being said, it's a roguelike game. So if you can kind of change your perspective with this game, because I can see that a lot of people will get frustrated, like starting over and over, but I think you have to just switch that perspective and understand, okay, this is me making progress and how the game was designed. If you go with that lens and that in mind, you will feel a lot better and it'll be a lot more fun, which it can be hard to do, um, but just have patience, have fun with it and understand that this is the way the game is built. And before we get further into the gameplay, I wanna do a comparison because I said bullet hell, Ikaruga and earlier on, and this is what it reminds me of. So let me show you a clip of Ikaruga. And I didn't record this myself. This clip comes from Entertainment Wizard and his channel where he has a full Ikaruga, full gameplay. And what I wanna do here is just kinda give you an idea of where I feel some of the concepts from Returnal come because it's so interesting to see this in 3D, but take a look. When I first saw gameplay for Returnal, I instantly thought about this game. I'm like, oh my God, they took this and made it 3D. And as soon as I saw that and thought about that, I'm like, oh my God, I have to play Returnal. And I'm glad I did because 
It really is bullet hell in 3D and it's so cool to see how they executed this. But let's talk about the details about Returnal and see exactly how they made it work in 3D. When you first look at the gameplay of Returnal, you'll be like, okay, what the heck is going on? There's so much happening. But really the bread and butter of this game is quite simple. You shoot, you run, you dodge. That's the bread and butter of this game. Now, with that, you have a dash that allows you to move through most projectiles that you'll see, but you gotta keep so many things in mind. Your reload isn't just a simple push a button to reload like most games. In this game, once your ammo counter goes to zero, you have what's called an overload mechanic, where if you played Gears of War, if you time your reload, you'll reload faster, you have extra benefits. So you're gonna be keeping that in mind. You're gonna be looking for items. You're gonna be dodging bullets. You're gonna be moving around, seeing different enemies. So it's hectic, it's brutal, but it is so much fun. Another very interesting gameplay concept of Returnal is this adrenaline level where if you're killing enemies and not getting hit, you will get better temporarily um, and you get benefits such as a better overload, better vision, increased melee damage. And this all comes together again with that flow state where obviously you're trying to dodge, you don't take damage and you can hit enemies, but also you get benefits from doing so. So again, you're encouraged to not get hit, dodge, and be very careful about your placement and enemy placements. Outside of the core gameplay, you have to make a lot of decisions, risk-reward decisions, such as picking up parasites that will give you a benefit and a negative, and you have to decide if it's worth it or not. And there's also, when you pick up items, there are things that will be malignant. Essentially, if you pick it up, you risk getting a negative attribute for at least a little bit till you cure it, essentially. So you're constantly making these decisions of risk reward, which I really enjoyed and added a lot of variability to each run that you do. And aside from that, the map, again, it's like a roguelike game. And in the map itself, you're going through all these different, it's almost like a dungeon crawler. You're going through side doors, the main way. So you get to decide how you want to proceed and if maybe you want to get a little bit stronger before trying to go through the main objective, up to you. Gameplay wise, there are two more things I want to touch on here. And first of all, I want to talk about the guns in this game. There's a lot of variety with the different types of guns you can pick up. There's your basic archetypes, you know, like shotguns, rifles, grenade launchers, rocket launcher type of things. And there's some cool, unique ones thrown in there too. And in this game, what happens is your guns can have alternate fire depending on what you pick up. It's kind of random, you know, it can be in chests or from enemies. And as you move forward in the game, your proficiency rate increases, which gives you better guns. So overall, the gameplay of Returnal is super fun, smooth, and just straight up crazy. Now that we discussed the gameplay of Returnal, I want to talk about the story of this game where you know, I had no idea coming in what to expect. Gameplay wise, I had some idea, but with the story, no concept of it. And just know, I'm not going to bring up any spoilers here. I would hate to spoil anything for you guys, but this is where the game really took another step for me where the gameplay was fine, production values are great, but the story is awesome. It's something you have to dig into. It's very obscure. Right? You get little pieces of lore, her backstory of your main character, but where it ends up, I wasn't prepared for and I loved it. Now, I can't really talk about the themes without spoiling everything, but it hits pretty hard. Um, it has some pretty heavy themes and again, it's such a compliment to the gameplay where really it doesn't feel like this type of game would have such a story but really it's one of those where you have to dig in and it's kind of left to interpretation sometimes but i really enjoy where it's at and one of my favorite aspects of returnal so now that we've discussed the graphics and sound the gameplay and the story what do i think overall about Returnal. Well, I think Returnal is amazing. I think it's one of the best PS5 games I've ever played and a game that I would recommend to most people. Now, where I can see it get frustrating for a lot is its repetitive nature and its difficulty. But again, I want to reiterate, this game is built that way. And if you see in that lens of, okay, I'm getting better each run, it's changing, it's developing, it is intentional, I think you'll have a lot more fun you know, so hopefully you don't rage quit and all that. But again, I love the difficulty. I love the growth in the game. 
which leads me to a couple negatives before we get our final verdict. So I wish the game built a little bit more upon itself. Like you have the amazing core gameplay, right? The bread and butter shooting and exploration. I just wish there was a little bit more added to the exploration aspect, especially, um, you know, it's a bit repetitive as well uh, as you keep dying and going through very similar locations. I wish there was a little bit more variety with the environments and locations themselves and the gameplay as the game goes on to the latter sections of the game. Just wish there was a little bit more variety, a little bit more, maybe like Metroidvania style where you have a couple more items or equipment that you get that can diversify the gameplay a bit. But again, it is part of how the game is built, but it is still a little bit too repetitive in my opinion. So in the end, I would give Returnal a 9 out of 10. I think Returnal is a must play on PS5. It's a game that will kick your butt, but a game that is so worth it for that journey. The gameplay is fun, the story is awesome, the production values are amazing, and I don't think there's anything else like Returnal out there. So if you haven't played Returnal, give it a shot. I believe you will have a great time. And again, thanks for watching the video. Please leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment below, and that ends our Returnal review. Now I'm gonna do a special dedication, which has nothing to do with Returnal, kinda, but my dog passed away recently, a few days ago, my dog Sadie. So I want to do a little dedication for her. So here's just a couple photos and a little video of my dog, Sadie. Rest in peace. Love you, girl. See ya. Thank you, guys.